All right, y'all. So I know I've now done two shorts on this topic, but obviously this topic is so important that I really want to speak more about this and, and actually do a video about this. And so I want to encourage you with a few scriptures. Number one is Romans 4.17. I mentioned this in my other video, which says, Speak those things into existence, that which does not exist. And number two is Proverbs 18.21, which says, There is life and death in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat its fruit. So combining those two powerful scriptures together, what that means is, is if you speak life, joy, peace, and strength over your life, that's the life that you will live, and that's what you'll receive for yourself. If you speak weakness, if you speak defeat, if you speak negativity, that's what you'll receive, and that's the type of life that you'll end up living. It's not just a, a cute little saying. You know, I know a lot of people in the world like to talk about the, the whole thing, you know, that you'll manifest whatever you speak. And although that, that may be, you know, the new age way of teaching how to quote unquote manifest things, it started with a biblical principle and now the new agers have twisted it in their demonic way. And so, you know, you're not just saying, you know, oh, I receive an airplane and then you'll, you'll receive an airplane. No, these are biblical principles that if you speak forth life over yourself, if you speak forth joy, if you speak forth strength, that's what you'll have in your life. And this is not a new age topic. This is a biblical principle. There are, are business people and motivational speakers who they speak the same thing. And they may not be Christian, but the reason that they see the things in their life that they speak is because they're actually obeying the Word of God without even realizing it. So this is not some New Age principle. This is a principle from the Word of God. Romans 4.17 and Proverbs 18.21. 18, and I'll give you another example from Scripture. When Abram was Abram, God changed his name to Abraham, which meant father of many nations. So when he introduced himself to people, he was literally introducing himself as, Hi, my name is Abraham. Hi, my name is father of many nations. So God already had him telling people before he even had a child. Not even before he had a lot of, a lot of children. Like, you know, it wasn't like he had 17 children and he was introducing himself as father of many nations. No, he didn't even have a child yet. He was 100 years old and his wife was 90. And it wasn't like at, at that time in history, they were having children at like the age of 70. It was normal back then to have kids at the same time the, that you'd have them now, at the age of like 20 to 30, and 35 and 40 and whatever. And, and I even know that that can sometimes be late. And so, you know, when Abraham introduced himself, he was saying, hey, my name is father of many nations, and he yet did not have a kid. So this isn't some new age practice. This isn't some demonic agenda idea of, of speaking forth, you know, I call forth an airplane. No, you're speaking forth the word of God over your life, which God has instructed us to do so. It was God's idea to tell Abraham, hey Abraham, I want you to tell people that you are the father of many nations. So today and tomorrow and, and for the rest of your life as you go over your life, speak forth the word of God over your life. You know, and, and I know we hear a lot of people saying, well, Jonathan, I don't see it happening yet. It doesn't matter. You don't, go by, you don't go by what you see, what you feel, or what you hear. We walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. We have to speak God's word over life, whether we see it or not. Say, Father, I thank you that I'm healed. Father, I thank you that I'm blessed. Father, I thank you for strength. I thank you for joy. If you keep saying that over your life, the devil's already getting weakened as you say that. The devil is a perpetual quitter. So when you speak victory, when you speak life, strength, joy, and peace, and blessings over yourself, the devil's already given up. Word by word as you speak life over yourself, the devil's getting weaker. Those things in your life are, are being pulled down and destroyed. And you know, the Bible talks a lot about the renewing of our minds. You know, breaking down strongholds and... and Part of the way to be able to pull down those strongholds and break those demonic mindsets is by speaking faith-filled words that align with Scripture over your life. So it doesn't matter what you feel. If you feel weak, you say, Father, I thank you that I am strong. If you feel defeated, say, Father, I thank you for the victory. And then find yourself a Scripture that would line up with that. For example, Joel 3.10, let the weak say, I am strong. 
Nehemiah 8.10, I will not sorrow, for your joy is my strength. So right there are two scriptures that if you're feeling weak or defeated or sorrowful or sad, you can say, Father, I thank you that your word says this instead. If you feel like you know, you're, you're not a winner or you're defeated, you say, Father, I thank you that you have given me the victory through my Lord Jesus Christ, according to 1 Corinthians 15.57. I want to encourage you with this video today. Speak words of life over yourself. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7, it says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And the way to, to how you think in your heart is the words that come out of your mouth. Because the Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So as you're speaking joy, as you're speaking blessing, strength, guess what? You're, you'll start to receive that. And, and even science would say that your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between uh, joking and being serious. So if you say something jokingly, you know, I hear a lot of people, you know, when they're laughing, they say, you know, like, ha, 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 I'm, I'm dead. You know, they're, they're like, I don't, I don't know why people will say they're dead when they're laughing because, you know, they're like actually the most alive. But when you say that, your mind doesn't know any different. It brings death to your body. And it may not be like an instant death in that moment, but it's, it's slowly killing your body. But if you're laughing, you say, I'm so joyful, even more joy will, will, will come forth. If you every day, when the f first thing you do when you wake up, Father, Psalm 118, 24 says, today is the day you have made. I rejoice and I'm glad in it. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that every day you provide all I need according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus, according to Philippians 4, 19. Every day, speak life over yourself. Speak victory. Speak peace, strength, joy. Whatever it has to do with aligning with the Word of God, whatever your needs are, speak. Thank you, Father, that you meet all my needs. Thank you, Father, that you provide everything that I need and more. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today. Be careful of the words you speak and speak words of life, words of victory, and words that align with the Word of God. God bless every single one of you. I want to pray for you today. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless them with the revelation of this video, of the revelation that I received a long time ago, of the power of words. I bless them with the strength, the self-control, and the ability to speak by faith and to walk by faith and not by sight. I pray in Jesus' name that they would be blessed in every aspect of their life, and Father, that they would continue to speak words of victory, words of faith, and words that align with your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless y'all. If this blessed you, Leave a comment down below, give it a like, share it with a friend, and remember to subscribe. Have a great day. God bless you. Peace out.